All right, guys, it's the boy Interjack here, and we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, today we're gonna be doing a Link Level 10 showcase for our boy uh, EZA, a uh, graded gratis. Now, um, I know before I said I'm at, I had him at 55%, but I actually did have a dupe of him. I just didn't put him in his uh, like hidden potential system yet. So this will be a 69% showcase of this EZA gratis. Um, Unfortunately, I got him on turn two, and as soon as I got into the turn, he transformed. So I guess we'll be seeing his uh, giant form for a little bit. Um, I don't think he does anything special in his giant form. Right? No, he has, he has plus two key, I guess. And massively raises attack. I mean, we all know his giant form is not going to do that much damage. So what we can do is we can actually set up the field. So that we can get him a bunch of orbs. Because uh, the thing about this great ape Radith, right, is that he's a nuking unit. So I'm running him on the. You can't even see the team that I'm running, but I'm running him on Goku Family right now. Um, honestly, I think he would look his best on Goku Family. The problem is, like Goku Family, like you could you could honestly just run better. Than him. There's no point in running this guy on Goku Family when you can run like AGL UI, um, LR Namek Goku, like stuff like that. Uh, we're going to... Uh, it takes a huge chunk of orbs away from us, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Radis is not... Like, <laughs> these grade 8 transformations, they really don't do any damage at all. Like, 700k? Like, no, that, that sucks. That sucks. That just flat out sucks. Wait, can he stun? Oh, he can stun! Interesting, and we got three turns of it too. Alright, um. I'm gonna say as long as he doesn't super, but it looks like he is. Oh! Well, that's unfortunate. We didn't get to see Radis on turn one, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's the only bad thing about these grade 8 mechanics is that when they transform, they kind of like suck. They're just like time wasters. Oh, okay, we still got the Nice. All right. Um, Radis here. Yeah, I don't think it matters where I put him. You just gonna have to put him to active. Yeah. I'm gonna put him in the middle. Um, actually, no, I'm not because I I'm afraid of GT. GT Koku might one shot him. So. I probably shouldn't do that. Let me explain his password. So, Radis, he has 80% attack and defense start of turn. Uh, he gets plus an additional 15 attack and defense for key spear attain, so he's a nuker. And then he gets a plus additional 80% attack when HP is 80% uh, or less. So, um, ideally, you want to be under 80% so Radis can actually like do damage. But I don't, I don't know if Radis is going to do damage like ever. Like, I think Vegeta is always going to just get harder, enough, no matter what. Um, especially, like, depending on the amount of orbs you get. Like, um, I got six orbs there. I imagine his defense would have been, like, 130-ish or something like that. So, um, after he super attacks, he probably would have been, like, over 200k. But then he does, like, a one mil attack. Like, that's with support, by the way. That was with support. And he did a one mil attack. So. Like, <laughs> is that good? No, that's pretty bad. Um, yeah, sure, he, defensively, he's fine, but, like, that, that attacks that was bad. I gave him six orbs, and he did that. Oh, my God. Dude, these grade 8 units. These, <laughs> these grade 8 units are mad annoying. All right, whatever. Um, let's see here. I mean, dude, I just pray this doesn't last for, like, three turns. I just give me hell. <laughs> the grade 8 units are so super annoying i cannot stand these great agents especially for showcases and then they do shit like this like i i don't know i i hate these units i honestly hate these units. um yeah we really just gotta sit through i mean dude bardock did more damage than radix but, and he's uh bardock's free to play to be fair my radix isn't rainbowed but Still, like Radis is a summonable unit, and Bardock is free to play and did more damage. I guess uh, not that it matters. They're both doing shit damage anyway. 
Oh, uh, can I not get a super attack? No. Alright. Yeah, they need to, like, revamp those grade 8 mechanics. Um, they should do what Legends do. Because Legends, um, they actually put, like, a grade 8 in the game. Like, you can actually play as a grade 8, if I'm not mistaken. Um, in Dokkan, it's just any unit that has, like, a giant form, they either make it, like, a rage mechanic or they make it this giant 8 mechanic. Thing. It's really stupid, because, like, Harutagon, for example. Harutagon could just be an entire unit, right? Like, they don't have to, uh... Uh, is there any way... No. Yeah, I don't think so. Jitikoku's gonna one-shot. Um, yeah, but like, Harugan, for example. Harugan could literally just be a whole unit without needing, like, Tathion or anything. Like, we could get a Harugan Dokkan, though. Um, he doesn't have to be, like, a giant transformation, right? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Grade 8 Vegeta, right? From the Sand Saga. Like, what if we get him? He's gonna share the same name as that other Vegeta, just Easy 8. Why not just make him a transformation unit? That way he doesn't share the same name. Because, you know, if he transforms, then he's gonna have a different name. It's not gonna be a giant mechanic. It'll just be another character on the field. Well, I don't know. I feel like they should do something like that. But, all right. Uh, here he has Raddus linked up with the Int Raddus. He shares five out of seven links with the Int one. Um, I think I'm going to get these orbs right here. Uh, he's got 78k defense. I'm going to get these five orbs. We'll see how much his defense jumps up to. Uh, 110k. Okay, so after he super attacks, his defense will probably be near like 100 and 170, 180k, something around there. Um, that's not horrible, I guess. But remember, that is on a double 150 lead because uh, GT Goku only gets 150 to go through that. So just keep that in mind. Remember, he is also 69%, and yet one point six. Like his damage is bad. Uh, flat out, even for a 69% unit, his damage is bad. Um, there's no getting around that. I think Raddus is probably like the worst out of the bunch. Um, it's between him and Goku. It's definitely not Vegeta. I actually think Vegeta's a usable unit. Um, but the other two are like very, very iffy. Especially Goku, because his link set is like bad. Like he can't Goku can't even super attack without like <laughs> one of those other Dragon Ball Saga units. Like, it's, it's kind of pitiful. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, Raddus, he's not impressing me. Like, Vegeta's definitely shitting on him. I And I know my Vegeta's rainbowed and all, but, like, I don't, like, Raddus doing 1.7 mil with a dupe, like, he's not going to close the gap just because he's rainbowed. Like, he's going to do, like, 2 mil at best or something. It's not like I've been getting him a trash amount of orbs. I've been giving him like six to five orbs every turn. But uh, uh that's fine, whatever. We'll go ahead, we'll go and look at him on another team. See how well he performs there. I don't think it's gonna be is I don't know if it's gonna be any better than what he did here, but we'll, we'll see. Alright, now we're over on the uh, space traveling warriors team. Um we did get a pretty good starting rotation here. I mean his defense start of turn is looking a little bit better. But that's what no links are. I'm going to switch him over to Vegeta here. Ooh, he shares four links with, actually. Which is not that bad. Oh, okay. That's, okay, now he's looking... He's actually looking way better on this turn, right? Um, 113 start of turn. That might not seem like a lot until I do this. Uh, get all these orbs right here. And now he has 154k defense. Uh, the reason why this is good, right? I didn't. I don't think I mentioned this. But his super attack effect, he greatly raises his attack and defense for one turn. So, um, he's going to be well over 200k defense after he super attacks. Right? So that's good. <laughs> and then Vegeta here, I mean, I know, Veg again, Vegeta's rainbowed and all that. But Vegeta on this turn is going to be, like, over 400k or something like that. Like, <laughs> uh, do you guys think, I, I don't know, like, Vegeta's, I, I said 400k, sorry, I meant 300k. But Vegeta's actually like a runnable unit. Um, I don't—he's not like top tier or anything like that. But he's definitely not mid. Like the, 
Like, Raditz and Goku, I would consider them mid. Vegeta is a little bit above mid. Like, he's actually, like, something something you would run. Alright, but, uh, let's go ahead and see how much damage he's gonna do. This is with 30% support, because he is on Space Shop Warriors. Uh, it doesn't matter if Bojack's super. Uh, 2 mil! <laughs> Alright, well, that's better than 1 mil, but he was over 200k defense right there, and then Vegeta at 3.7. Mind you, both, this is both, like, without the, uh, the little 80% buff that he gets, so do keep that in mind. Now, that's not active there at all. It's an 80% buff on super attack as well, so, like, with support, if he has that buff active, he's gonna hit, like, hard. Very hard. Well, he won't hit very hard, but he'll hit a lot better than what he's doing. Alright, let's just say that. I mean, I say that, and then a unit like Bojack just did the exact same number. But I, Bojack's not meant for damage, and they, everybody knows this at this point. Surprised he even hit two mil with like no impact. Oh, he transformed. All right. <laughs> Another wasted turn. I mean, not that it matters. I think Goten is dead here anyway. Yeah, it's fine. Look at this get straight out of this. Thank God Grade 8 doesn't carry over to other fights. I would have hated this one even more. Did he kill? Yeah, he kills. Alright. Now we get to see him here. He, he has 50% support. 100. Oh my. Dude. Vegeta's at 176 KD. Like, do you guys not realize how high that is? Um, let me just spin it up. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my calculator real quick, and I know this is the Radish Showcase, but I'm gonna go over to my calculator real quick, and you're gonna see Vegeta's attack there. Sorry, I meant defense there. So he was at 174, I believe. Uh, 176 actually. 176. Then if I two. And then what we do is we add that by 80% because he gets that on super. And I, dude, and then we add that by another 30%. Like, dude, is this Vegeta good? Like, he, is he good? He's at 400k defense on this turn. Like, the 80% is from his passive, and then the 30% is from his super attack effect. So yeah, he, he's good. Like, he's actually good. Um, at least defensively, anyway. Like, I don't know, maybe this is a solid rotation of, like, giant forms of the uh, His defense is going to drop here because you don't have a big bad boss. In the that was pretty impressive. Um, at least defensively. I anyway. uh, did that to get, yeah, we hit Raditz 6 or 3. He's at 124k. Let's see how much he jumps up to. 173k. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing about these grade 8 units, right, is that they're, they're actually pretty good defensively, like, after they super attack. I think they're actually fine defensively. It's just their damage numbers aren't really that impressive unless you're under 80%. Um, I think that's just going to be the thing with them. Yeah, like, Vegeta, uh, dude, he has 5 wings active, 50% support, and only 3 mil. And this guy only at 2.5. Like, no, those damage numbers are not acceptable in 25. Oh, I mean, he doubles super at some too. <laughs> He doubled super, so now his defense actually is closer to like 400k there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I like these units. Yeah, yeah. Well, I like them defensively anyway, because uh, when Giant Form Extreme Super Battle Royale comes out, it's not going to be hard to no item it with these units. Just because they're so well off defensively, like, uh, I don't know. Like, it's going to be, I honestly, it's going to be a cakewalk to like no item, no stages with these units. I don't think you're gonna struggle at all. Assuming you had them like duped up and stuff, because like the thing about Giant Form Extreme Super Battle Road is it actually does hit hard, and it's, it, they scale it based off of Tapion for some reason, and I have no clue. Why. Oh, he transforms again. Well, he can do that multiple times. Okay. 
I didn't know that. Uh, let's just try to get out of this as quick as possible. But yeah, giant form extreme true battle rope. The enemies on there, like on normals, they do like a total of like 200k damage. And it's weird because like giant form doesn't even have units that have them on defense besides Tavia. <laughs> And, like, a baby can get up to that defense, but you have to have, like, the proper linking partner for him. Which, he, the only proper linking partner on that team for him is Physical Slug. And that's, he sucks. Like, he just flat out sucks. Um, but I don't know what else to say. He teaches that. But, like, these units here, they seem like they would easily tank in that state. Provided they super attack first. Um, which is fine, because like you would want to run Tapion in slot 1, and then one of these units in slot 2. And then the other rotation is, again, Tapion in slot 1, and then one of those great ape units in slot 2. I think that would actually work pretty okay-ish. Like, that would probably be a fine rotation. Mm. Unfortunately, we can't get under 80% HP, because great apes don't take damage. <laughs> is what it is I wish there was a way you could like turn the mechanic off or something because <laughs> honestly I'd rather just turn it off because I know they're not going to do damage All right. this will be a rotation when I think it's everything active for him yeah. so he has everything active here 7 out of 7 links uh, about 100k defense If I do this, I can open up that path right there and then you get six orbs. Yeah. Alright. See how much this defense jumps up to here with these six orbs? 152k defense. Okay. So, yeah, he's still over 200k after he's super attacks. Not bad. This is without support. Not bad at all. Uh, I mean, his damage numbers are not going to be. Yeah, 2.4. I mean, uh, 2.4, that's mid, but if he was under 80% HP, that would have been, like, closer to, like, 4 mil or, or like, 3 mil or something like that. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go into, like, a long event and stuff like that. Uh, I don't, I'm a, I guess I'll run the same exact team. And, uh, we will, like, I, I get in an 80% in a Dokkan event is hard. It is what it is, I guess. Yeah, I'll just go into a long event, um, and then I'll we'll get some turns with him under 80% HP. Alright, so I finally managed to get under 80% HP. Um, I'm going to see a couple of turns with him just like that. Uh, I think we get 5 orders. He's at 91k defense, I guess. We're only getting the support from Bojack here. 123k. Alright, so after he super attacks, he's a little close to 200k, just like uh, about 190k, um, 180k, or somewhere around that range. Oh yeah, see his damage numbers jumped up to like 3 mil. Yeah, so like under 80% HP, he can actually do pretty decent damage. Like 3 mil, that's a cutoff to where yeah, that damage is okay. Not like super amazing or anything, but it's still okay damage. I wonder if I can get Turles like I mean Garlo Jr. is probably gonna kill him. Oh I do have Garlo Jr. at link level 10 by the way. Wow. 200k defense. A 55% Turles. What links does he have active? Oh he actually has quite a bit of links active here. Hmm. Not bad Turles, not bad. Not bad at all. I will do a video on him and AGL Turles. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do it at the same time or not, but I do have AGL Turles at link level 10 as well. Honestly, AGO Turles, when he's next to that LR Turles, he's like a different unit. Like, he, he actually looks like a unit that came out this year. Oh, Vegeta's doing this again, dude? Alright, um, I guess I'll just skip to where this is over. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch the fucking Grade 8 mix. Alright, now we finally got out of that hell. Um, I think we're above 80% Unfortunately, um, okay, I'll do a little orb changing shenanigans, I guess, Let's buff his attack stat, it's not even going to be that much, but it is what it is, um, 
I don't know. Maybe I can get like super attacked here or something. Yeah, I'm definitely not under 80% because Vegeta would have hit like 4 mil in this turn. He would have hit a lot. Like, he wouldn't have done 3 mil there. He would have hit all of that. For sure. Uh, yeah, 2 mil from Radis again. Yeah, we're definitely not under 80% HP. Well, I mean, he is tanking, I guess. Okay. We will be under it next turn, though. I think that's. Uh, the Garlic Jr. is actually killing us. I mean, that's, that's the problem. Um. I just want Turtle to get smacked, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, let's just let Turtle get, like, smacked the fuck up here. I guess. Um. How much is it gonna take to do? <laughs> is Goku isn't supering us? What, what's going on? I mean, if he supers cooler, we're not gonna die, but we're gonna take a shit ton of damage. Okay. I need you to super somebody. <laughs> Please, like anybody. Super anybody. I beg of you. Oh, wow, he's really not gonna super. And we're gonna heal. We're still not a. Okay. This is kind of frustrating. Um. Yeah, we're still not, like, we're not at that threshold. This is the same with all the wings active again. Ah, dude. Alright, these, uh, maybe these teams are a little bit too good. For, yeah, this 80% HP. This is definitely going to be annoying to get. I can already feel it. Like, this is going to be something that's very annoying to get. Oh, he double super too. Nice. Now his defense is near, like, it's probably over 300 days. Oh, now he wants the super us. Cool. <laughs> and then there's Tech Radis literally doing almost the same. It's not a damage. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Tech Radis, who isn't an easy A unit and is like almost a full year over. Oh, I think I'm going to do that. We can do some board change next, next turn. Oh, uh, this shouldn't do that much to turn with. It's tight advantage, right? Yeah. I think Cooler should also be okay. Um, I don't see him taking damage type advantage. Double support, though. There's no way. There's no, there's no way we die here. Right? Like, I'm not tripping the thing up. We can't die here. Right? Oh, nah, we're good. We're good. I don't know. One of my trippers. We're good. We are five. Yep. Alright, now this is going to be probably his best rotation in the. His defense is ah. Oh, his defense is lowered. Are you serious? Well, we've seen his defense with support already. Anyway, we're more interested in his attack that here. Like I guess. Well, that's so. Uh, here, we'll, like I said, we'll do a little orb changing shenanigans. This is so. This is a wink rotation, my man. Uh, I do that just so we don't die. Okay, yeah, thirteen orbs. Go ahead and get that. Um, 100. Dude, his DM would be higher if it wasn't lowered. It'd be so much higher, but it's fine. It's fine. We're only here for the attack set anyway. This is just Wayne. <laughs> yeah, Vegeta's doing 4.5 mil. Let's see if Raditz does that with Wayne. Oh, 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 six mil. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If you wank Raditz with 13 orbs, he actually does a lot of damage, and he gets under 80% HP. That's pretty good, I guess. But, um, alright. Uh, that's all for the Easy A Radis. Um, I'm gonna do the video on Goku right after this one. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.